Heads up, we're good to go. And we're ready to go. Hi Todd, could you tell us what happened basically this morning? Yes, uh, went out fishing. Um, so I got out, launched a koala here and took my tinny out near sort of the tubes out there and uh, got out there and then realised I was taking on a bit of water and um, yeah, thought, oh, that's no good. I'll make my way back straight away and uh, bailed out my boat three times and each time more and more water was coming on. Yeah. And then on the fourth time, it was just too, way too much was coming on board and I just had to make the phone call then okay. to Marine Rescue. Yeah. So from the time that um, you made the phone call to when you when the boat actually filled up with water or capsized, how long would that be? Would be oh, minutes, it was seconds? like one minute. Really? That quick? Pretty much hung up the phone, Yep. started to get my things together and then just felt the boat roll like it was no time yep. whatsoever. Yep. It was... Yeah. And then that phone call was all, all important, wasn't it, to, to uh, activate marine rescue? And of course, yeah. um, the ship uh, Sycamore was in the area as well, and they were their assistance was invaluable because we could use that as a point of reference, and that's how we located you so quickly because you could say, "Yes, I can see Sycamore," and we thought, "Okay, are you between Point Perpendicular and the Sycamore, or are you, you know, behind Sycamore sort of thing?" And yeah. We came straight to you, and you did everything right in terms of you stayed with the vessel. You uh, had your life jacket on, you know, you remained calm and we got you on board and it was just a, a great outcome. You know, much, much appreciation to Marine Rescue and Sycamore, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd be still out there, who knows if I could still be there, yeah. Well, happy to be of service. Yeah, really, yeah. So much, uh, so, so grateful. Quickly, shake again. Yep. All good. Uh, stupid. Don't blame me.